Prehistoric archaeology is, by its very name, distinguished by not having written documents coming from that time period. So we have to use the material record. Prehistoric archaeology is an academic field that takes in the sweep of human experience. It covers all the cultural changes that humans have gone through in the last two to three million years. It particularly focuses on the later ones, the transitions into humanity as we know them. The architecture and the wide range of artifacts that we find, features in the soil, stains, charcoal concentrations and other things to try to trace out where different activities were carried out and then try to assign them meaning, try to understand what they were doing and why they were doing it. Archaeology is trying to get at these things by inferring from the pattern and distribution of different material remains within a site or within a region. Um, so it's always an issue of inference. It's never clear-cut, and there's always room for alternative arguments, which is actually one of the best things about the field. The site I work in is Chavín de Huantar. It's in the north-central Andes of Peru, site dating to about 3,000 years ago which means that it's one of the earlier sites with monumental architecture. It's a site that has many mysterious features, underground space, an enigmatic art, um, very rapid building program, and the manipulation of light, sound, and other things. I was fascinated with the evidence we have for this idea of manipulation of people who went through ritual experiences in these, in these contexts. And so, uh, after a while, I realized this was being done with a purpose. And that purpose was that the planners, designers, the orchestrators of these events were trying to get something. And what they wanted was an increase in their level of authority. And they went to incredible creative ends to get there. These are the elite, both the elite from Chavin and the aspiring elite from these regional areas surrounding Chavin. And they're basically in a process of developing a hierarchy, uh, a real social structure that has strong political power at the top. I think that's where we've contributed the most, is articulating that with the specific material evidence. Although we've discovered actually a whole new range of archeological finds that weren't anticipated um, by research in the past. Our research process is very much that of field archaeology. We've been doing these 20 years of field seasons there that range anywhere from two to six months of excavation. Um, then the processing of all those materials, cleaning them up, registering them, getting them ready to be archived in a way that we or others can retrieve them, and then subjecting them to specialist analysis. Uh, That's why we have experts in animal bones plant remains, radiocarbon dating, stone tools, architecture, um, and many other specialties as well that all contribute some of the really hardcore interpretations that we base our conclusions on. The artifacts do not speak for themselves. They have to be interpreted, and if they're interpreted by people who are true experts in those fields, you'll have tremendous amounts of insight from objects, quite often debris and prehistoric garbage, that the average person wouldn't save in a shoebox in their closet. So we're capable of getting at a lot of information from the past um, through their eyes and their backgrounds.
The ultimate value in archaeology is to understand ourselves. Our condition today, it didn't come from nowhere. It evolved through a series of conditions and situations that reflect the human experience. In this particular case at Chavin, we're attacking this problem of the origins of authority. We live in authoritarian systems today. No matter how democratic they are, they are authoritarian. We elect authorities. It isn't that we've gotten rid of them. But yet, 5,000 and certainly 10,000 years ago, nowhere in the world was anyone living under a concerted authority. But today we expect that. It's the essence of our organization. Take me to your leader. Who's in charge here? We expect it. So where did that come from? And I think the site of Chavin, and more generally prehistoric archaeology, has a way to tell us about the outstanding single organizational characteristic that human beings have, which is authority structure. So to me, this is far from a trivial exercise. This is looking at one of the primary components of what it means to be human in the world today.